Hello and welcome back to the another video of Python file and folder operations. In this video, we will see how to filter files within a date range and we will filter the file within a date range using created date and modified date both. And then we will see how to get the files for last end days. So let and this is very frequently used operation that filter file within last two days or we have to filter file that are created in last five days. Let's get started. So the first thing is that we have to loop on all the files using globe. So here is the syntax for that. And if you want to filter file by extension, then you can use PDF or XLSX here. Now I am trying to loop on all the files. So I will not be using any other filters query. And then after this, we have to decide a range of dates. Here on your screen, you can see before I am doing that, I have to import date time. So I am using hard coded dates. These dates might be coming in the variable or some other input that is there in your project. After this, we have to loop on the file by putting a condition. So for that, first of all, I have to import OS library. After importing OS, what we have to do, we have to run a for loop. So here is the for loop and in the for loop, this a file element is my file, a file is my file element. So this m, m date is the modification date. We will compare the modification date with the, with the date from and date to. So here is the code. What I have done is I have converted everything into date. So we are getting all the file between the date irrespective of time. In case if you wanted to get with the time, you have to just remove this two date operation, two date function from here. So I will run this code now and let's see the result. So there are three files which comes in between this range. Let's go to the folder and see now. So the sample one till three. So these are the files comes in between this range. You can have a look here. And let's say if you want to increase the date to till 23rd of November. So let's try that. 23rd. November and let's see the files now. A few more files added to the list. All right. So this is how you can filter all the files created between all the files modified between two dates. But if you want to access the files created between two different dates, you just have to change this to C date time. And then the same application, same thing will be applied here. All right, so this is by the created date. So this is how you can filter files between a date range by the created date. I hope you can see the entire code. You can pause the video here and have a look. I will change this back to M time, modified time. Now the question is, if so you want to get the file names from a folder, those are created in last seven days, or you want to get the file names from a folder, those are created in last two days. So how we will do that? Let's see. So in here, I have to do one more import time delta. And I have to import date. And then we have to create a variable for yesterday's date. After that, I will just remove this condition. And I will add a new condition here. So you can see I have created this yesterday's date and then I am comparing that with the file modification date here and then I am changing that file modification date into date. So this value will be a date time type and this value will be the date time. Now let's run and see. So I have taken only one day as delta. Now run and see. So I have only one file that is created file of today. Let's go to the folder. So you can see the date here. And you can see the file that is created in last one day is only this. 
now let's try for last 10 days so all of these files should come I will run this so you can see the file name in last 10 days here and you can compare same file names here also until new file until new file Alright, so you can see the entire code on your screen right now and so this is how you can filter the file from a folder for last 10 days, last 7 days, last 8 days, last 10 days or last 100 days. Alright, I hope this video was useful for you. Please hit the like button if you like the content of this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on Python. Share your feedback in the comment. And if you share this video on your social media channel, that will be really helpful for my channel. Thank you very much for your time.